In this review we're looking at another model that WSI has done for Volvo. It's a mining truck, it's the Volvo R100e. It comes in a very nice looking Volvo branded box, and it has an excellent photo on four sides, and there's also information about the real truck including a line diagram and some specifications. Inside the box we find what we normally find and that's a couple of expanded polystyrene trays. And they are helpfully marked top and bottom, and they're factory sealed. After some careful knife work we can lift the lid and there's the truck sitting in the bottom tray. And it's surrounded by various protective packaging. To lift the truck out you need a couple of giant hand cranes. And the only other thing in the box is a bag containing a couple of steel pins. No assembly to do, because it's complete out of the box! So we start underneath and things are looking very good. You can just see the engine block underneath, and the steering and transmission parts are all modelled very well. The fuel tank and other parts are there, and the big tyres have a nice tread pattern and they're made of very hard material. There are also large mud flaps which are not too soft. Moving to the front, and the stairs all have a nice tread pattern, and the modelling highlight is that the handrails are metal throughout. Another particularly nice aspect is the front grille and you can see the intricate meshwork. And there's also a very nice small Volvo badge. The front of the cab has lights on it, and the cab internal detail is excellent with a fire extinguisher and Volvo on the seat back. And even though it's very hard to see, there's a finely detailed instrument console, together with a badge on the steering wheel. Outside the cab there are very small graphics and nice mirrors, although the angle of the mirrors doesn't look quite right. The front wheels are nicely modelled and there are more tiny graphics, and the modelling of the rear wheels is excellent and looks very realistic. Also between the rear twin tyres there are rock deflectors. At the back the big suspension cylinders look great, and there's a Volvo name badge. The body has a very nice structure underneath, and on the outside it looks like the original. There are sharp graphics and indentations where the lifting eyes would be. Looking underneath the body, the lift ram is multi-stage. Checking out the chassis and the front wheels spin independently as you would expect, and the rear wheels are fixed to a common axle. The range of steering seems good, and a highlight of the model engineering is the suspension, and that's on both front and rear axles. In terms of rolling along the Volvo performs very well, and that's helped by the heavy weight of the model. As you can see there's no shortage of suspension movement, and if we set the steering the truck turns reasonably sharply. One unexpected feature on the model is the way that the front grille folds down, and that provides access to the radiator behind. The detailing is reasonable, and you can see the mesh grille is nice and see-through. Once you've completed your inspections, the front folds up nicely. A very important feature of a model like this is the tipping angle, and it's good to see that WSI have pretty well nailed it. One other small feature is that the body can be pinned in the up position, and that replicates the safety feature on the real truck, where the body can be prevented from closing if somebody's working underneath it. The only minor issue on the model is that it's difficult to get the pins in with the restricted access. Another plus point is that the model looks great in a mine setting. WSI Models has made a really good job of this rigid hauler mining truck. It captures the look of the real Volvo very authentically, and there's a high level of detailing. 
What's also good is that the model engineering is first rate. So all things combined together, this model of the R100E is excellent.